getting to work in Salem. Homelessness, livability, mental health, all of these are top issues for Oregon State lawmakers this month. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Giannola, and for the first time since the pandemic started, Oregon lawmakers back in person in session at the state capitol. 90 lawmakers about to tackle a mountain of problems. Lisa Balick in Salem finding out what they're going to solve first, or at least work to solve. There's always a lot of optimism on this first day, Lisa. Yes, that's right. Now, Republicans, Democrats saying they're going to cooperate. The session runs for six months. Part of that, they have to balance a budget. That's billions of dollars. But already, they're worried about running out of money. Over a 1,000 Oregon students, ages 5 through 21, find the doors to the public schoolhouse shut in their faces simply because they have Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, autism, or other disabilities. Other students walk through the doors in fear because they know they will be met with danger due to violence, ridicule, or exclusion. The needs are high all across the state. Education access, hiring more teachers, to funding and cutting red tape to house tens of thousands of Oregonians, getting a handle on the mental health crisis and drug epidemic. The fentanyl crisis will get a lot of attention. Changes to measure 110, perhaps, to raise criminal penalties for suppliers. We will be looking at what is the break point as to being something that would be for personal use quantity as to what isn't. As we know, fentanyl has unfortunately shown its uh, ugliness as to the strength and potency of it. But from one of the leaders on the committee that puts together the state budget for the next couple of years, a warning. Hundreds of millions of federal dollars that rolled in to help during COVID are gone. Some of them have gone into programs that people will want to see continue, and we're going to have to figure out how to pay for that. We don't know what's going to happen to our economy. Lawmakers mentioned how they'll be keeping their eyes on getting results with our tax dollars. We must ensure the solution for homelessness provides shelters and services and is not just a slush fund for for-profit nonprofits. You're starting to see some of these services and communities. It takes time for those, um, but we also need to make sure that we're getting what we're paying for. Us. Lawmakers pledge to work with each other to avoid any walkouts. There are enough Republicans now that Democrats would need some of their votes to pass a tax hike. Right now, though, no one is talking about any new taxes. And in fact, today, there seemed to be universal agreement that they would keep the kicker, that money people get back, that they would keep that in place, at least for now. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Now